Today on 200 Degrees, I get to drive one of the coolest two-car garages that I think I'll ever get to do, which is really impressive I get to do it so early on in my subscriber count. These two cars are owned by my friend Dustin, and this is a Duramax Swap 1979 Crew Cab Dually Long Box. It's been lowered on Alcoa's. And this is a six liter turbocharged LS powered 1988 Buick electric station wagon. Individually, if these cars were stock, I could make one video each on them. The fact that they're both modified means they are certainly getting their own episodes. We're gonna start with the wagon and then come back for the truck in the next video. And I really hope you enjoy the series. Essentially, it's a it's a bone stock car, brake suspension, all that stuff is, is stock Buick, so it still rides really good, but it just happens to make a little more power now. You see, one of the problems with trying to gut one of these is, you mean, it's still a nine-seater station wagon that's some 20 feet long. You're still gonna have a huge car, no matter how much power you give it. Saying that something has a six-liter LS, a 4L80, and a Ford 9-inch sounds like the makings of a race car, and don't get me wrong, if you put your foot up to the camera car with quite a bit of gusto even though because that's five times the horsepower <laughs> but it's got stock suspension and stock brakes it's it's a Buick Electra the, the main purpose of that car is, is burnouts Tickle under 500 to the tires. I drove with the stock motor for, I think it was like two years. Had a 307 Oldsmobile in it. That ended up getting a rod knock. So my dad and I put a 350 small block Chevy in it. And then I hopped it up, put cam long tube headers and all that stuff, put a little bit of money into it. And uh, it was still slow. <laughs> so then I started working with this guy, Jared, at the dealership. He talked me into putting an LS into it. So I ended up building my own turbo kit for it. That was about four years ago now and it's been blowing up motors ever since. <laughs> My favorite part about the car is that everybody has a station wagon story. So a lot of people will come up to me and sell and tell me that they, their babysitter had one or they grew up in one or their parents had one, you know, and all that. And uh, this is my station wagon story. It's just a little funnier. What Dustin's learned from driving this car is that the people who are coming up to him aren't coming up because they had a 1984 Buick Electra station wagon. They didn't sell that many of them for that to be the case. And the only reason you might actually recognize this car is because it was the actual station wagon featured in Deadpool right up to the point that it got smashed. That was a stunt double. Every era of car in the history of humankind looks the same as the same cars from its era. And it's only once you isolate them and put them into modern traffic that they actually look different. So this isn't a Buick Electra station wagon to the people coming up to them. This is every American station wagon ever. You've got an upright fake chrome grille, four square headlights, a small hood ornament, and wood. Fake wood, of course. So I was looking at uh, like Mercury Grand Marquis or anything with wood grain on the side, really. Well, the cool thing about everybody having a station wagon story is now that, you know, like not a lot of people my generation have station wagon stories because a lot of them are gone, whether it's demo derbies or they're all rotten and old and smashed up. Now all my friends kind of have a station wagon story, you know, you included, right? You know, <laughs> it's like, hey, I knew this guy that we were doing donuts in the station wagon and it was a lot of fun, right? We never 
never had the wagon, but every American car from the 80s is basically the same. And I just feel like I'm back home. I should be looking over dad's shoulder. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? This brings back all the memories that we, that, that, that the people who come up to Dustin when he's parking in the parking lots and filling it up with fuel. This is bringing back every memory that I, those people are seeing because it feels the same as the one I have. And that feels really special. I wholeheartedly enjoy this car. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching 200 Degrees. This finishes the wagon episode, but if you're under the impression that someone who built a wagon as cool as this might have built a truck just as interesting, I recommend you watching the next episode. I don't think it'll disappoint.